create your first landing page, go to the Design Studio tab, find the landing page section, right click and create a new landing page. For the name, call it My First Landing Page and then add your name at the end. And the template, we'll select the standard template and then we'll click Create. Now find that landing page, right click and edit draft. All landing pages in Marketo are created from a pre-existing template. This template is very straightforward, it's just got some colorings on the different sections. So the first thing we're going to do is clear out the background. So normally in a landing page you would simply modify the sections and most of it will be pre-built. In this particular case for our first landing page we're just going to create it from scratch using the elements in Marketo. So the first thing is for any template there are certain elements that you can modify in a template and that's depending on what the designer has allowed you to actually modify. So in this case you'll notice these template elements are all the sections that are available in the template and editable. Now to edit a section you simply click on it either here or here open the property sheet and what you need to do is modify the sections here. So the only one we're really interested in right now is the background color. So let's just put that as white, hit enter and you'll notice this section is now white. We're going to continue to do that for all the others. Now let's create the elements of our landing page. We'll start with the headline. So you'll notice there's a section of insert elements here. We'll select the rich text one, drag and drop that and we'll put our headline in and then click save. So you notice this one is pretty small. So what we're going to do is modify the text style to make it more like a headline. So firstly we will select a font such as impact and then in the style we'll select a heading and we'll probably increase the size to make it larger. Let's try 36 and then we can click save. So that's a good headline. Let's now put a subheadline. So in this case, we'll drop the subheadline here. It's quite small font, so let's increase that to 14 point and then click save. So there we go, we've put our subheadline in here. The next step is to put a hero shot. So we're going to find the image element, drag and drop that into the landing page. In your training instance, you'll have an image already loaded. So just search for dog and you'll find this Dyson dog image. So click on it, click insert. So let's resize that image. There we go. And that's our hero shot there. Excellent. So the next step is to insert a form. So we're just going to insert our form we created before. So my first form. So the next step is the follow up type. So this is the page that the browser will navigate to once you click the submit button. We're just going to create, we're just going to select landing page and then stay on page. So it'll just stay on this page when we click and let's insert that. So you'll see the form has been inserted here and we're just going to move it over here. Now as a call to action, that's pretty plain. So we're going to have to add some elements here for the call to action. Let's improve our call to action with some visual elements. The key visual element in Marketo is the rectangle. So if we drag and drop a rectangle, what you'll see is that this rectangle appears here. Now if you have multiple rectangles and you want to distinguish between them or any other elements for that matter, you can name your page elements here. So for example, if we were to call this headline here, naming elements is useful if you have a lot of elements and they overlay each other. So let's create um, a call to action that's a bit more useful. So first thing we're going to do is create a boundary box for the form. So let's do that and we're going to modify the colors around this. So the key one is the background color. We're going to make that a yellow and then the border color we're going to make a light gray. So now you can see that the box has changed color. We also want to increase the border width to make it a bit more encapsulating. So let's minimize the property sheet and now what we need is a call to action heading. So let's add Add a new rectangle for that. Now if you ever need to layer content and change the order of it, so whether this box overlays that box or not, you can do that by modifying the layer element. So the layer is the priority. The higher the number that you set here, the closer to the top it will be. The lower the number, the further back it will be. So for example, if I were to change the layer to 15 here, what you'll notice is the yellow box is now overlaid the green box. So let's change that back. If we want the yellow box to be at the back, we're going to modify the layer and decrease that. So now you'll notice the green box is back on top. So let's modify this green box, make the background color black and the border color, we will actually get rid of the border. So if you wanna get rid of the border for border style, you simply put none, there we go. So let's minimize the property sheet and now we have a little heading box here. So let's make that a bit more interesting here and we're going to put a heading 
in here. So we drop a rich text. The heading will be book your spot. We're going to make that bold, change the font size to 20 point, and then change the font color to white. Now you'll notice that it's disappeared from this box, but in actual fact, you can just highlight it with your mouse. The reason that is, is because now we have white text. However, because we're overlaying that on this black background on our landing page, it works well. And there you have it. We have a call to action section here. Now what we may also add, for example, is a link to a privacy policy. In this case we would actually add a link. So this is the little insert link item and we might link back to for example our privacy page. You can put any URL here and then click insert. So let's click that save and there we go. We've got a little privacy element here. Now the last part we'll add is a benefit summary. Let's add the benefit summary text and then we'll change that to bulleted points. Maybe change the font size to 14 and then click save. So there we go. We've added a benefit summary section. So this is a very simple landing page, but it does get all the elements inside it. So now what we want to do is to preview this particular page. So we can click preview draft and we get a view of what this looks like. So you'll notice some of the elements don't quite line up here and that's normal. Often the editor will not be the same as the draft. So what we need to do is go back to our draft and realign some of these elements so that they appear correctly previewed. So let's move this over here and make this box a bit smaller. And then we'll click preview draft again. And now we can see that uh, not perfectly aligned, but close enough. The last part we want to do is modify this button here, make it a bit more descriptive, something like book now. Now we can't do that from here. We'll need to find the form and actually modify that form. So let's go back to the design studio. Let's find my first form, right click, edit draft. And now we're going to change the button label here to book now. Then we're going to click finish, approve and close. Now let's go back to our landing page and refresh the page. Now that we have a descriptive button, we'll modify this little heading section. And now we're going to close this. You'll notice that it's auto saved, so there's no need to manually save it. Let's close this tab, find the form, right click, click approve. Once the form is approved, click on it and you'll notice there'll be a new section called view approved page and a URL. So we're going to click the view approved page and this is the final page. So whatever's displayed here is what will be displayed to the user. So that looks good. You'll notice that this has been pre-filled because I've set pre-fill on my fields. And there you go, your first landing page.